Based on what you know right now, are there three or five tips you could give us that you know right now people should be doing? The vegetable-based diet, and, and what this in, implies is um, a, a concept that you may have heard about. It's called the locavore concept. So people are intensely interested in getting their vegetables and fruits locally. Uh -huh. And that's a huge thing in this part of South Carolina, especially Charleston County and Charleston itself, which is sort of a foodie mm -hmm. you know, kind of culture. Um, I really advocate that because we depend too much on our produce coming from all over the world with, you know, who knows how long it's been in transit and we know that things degrade in time. So, so um, a, a vegetable based diet is, is really important. The other thing is, is really taking advantage of anything that's natural, especially in beverages. I, I can't go out and tell people to drink green tea all the time because, you know, people just don't know really how to drink green tea, you know, and from a chemistry point of view, any tea is good, hot or cold, as long as you drink tea. Now when you're good. saying tea though, are we saying any tea? Any tea. Any yeah. tea. Any tea. It's better than no tea at all. Okay. So, where I'm leading... How about is, sweet tea? <laughs> <laughs> there's always a plus and minus. <laughs> but, um, one, one of the things I think is pretty solid now is that the cultures that are protected across the world have been following these patterns for their lives from an early age. Okay. So there's no quick fix here. So when I talk about exposure to tea and vegetables, that needs to be daily. Think about herbs and spices. Um, for the amount that's in our diet, these are outrageously high in antioxidant and anti-inflammatories. We don't take enough advantage of them. You know, so, so garlic and cinnamon and clove um, turmeric, uh, all those things that kind of have a little bit of buzz and a taste to them, that's pretty much a chemical signal that there's something pretty potent in there. And I guess the last bit of advice would be, um, it's okay to enjoy the food that you like to enjoy, mm -hmm. you know, but balance it off knowing that there there is a cost to that. And so maybe if you really enjoy yourself today, and you know those foods aren't all that healthy, then tomorrow, do something else.